No, you don't want to speak. No. Because he didn't answer my question. That's childish. I'm not answering his question. You're being childish. No, he didn't answer my question. He, he didn't, didn't answer my question. My question. I'm not going to answer his question. Yes. Just why, why engage should I, with why the person. Why should he have the choice of not answering my question? Because before the cameras were on, choice, you're, you're saying... His question. You're saying as Muslims... Did you Muslims, hear what I said? You're saying as you're Muslims were killing you're people. Listening. You're not listening. You're saying as Muslims were killing people. Listen, I said I'm not answering. I can make whatever claim. Whatever claim I want to make. I can make whatever Proof. claim. Give us I proof. I can make whatever you claim. You can't come to the park. I don't have to do You can't come to the park and say as Muslims were killing say people. I can say That's whatever. That's false. That's true. If you do That's want to true. make that claim, I can make any claim. If you any are truthful, any bring your evidences make, forth. I can make that Where statement. are the evidences? I'm going to make that statement. Where are the evidences? I'm not going to give you any evidence. Oh. Okay. And you don't deserve yeah, it. So why you have you have have you have evidence. No you evidences. Have any. You don't have any evidence for me. You know why? Because he has no evidence. I asked for your evidence. Zero evidence. I asked for his evidence. No evidence. He walked away. I'm going to give you one more chance. I'm giving you a good mood today. Ask him. If tell us. Going to want a debate. Tell us where we kill people. Ask him Once more. If he wants to debate me, where, he where, where? Promise, where, I will debate where do we kill you. people? Make a promise, Mr. Mansoor. Where do we kill people? Are you going to make a promise, Mr. Mansoor? Come on, come on. Come on. Mansoor, are don't, you going to make a promise? I don't wish to debate people who have no humanity left. Okay, I don't want to d discuss with people like you as well. Okay? <laughs> Liars and deceivers. I don't discuss anything. When with did them. he lie and deceive? No what did I lie and when did I deceive? Prove. Substantiate your claim. We, we want proof. We want proof. We want proof. We want proof. We want humanity. We okay. want it. What are you talking about? Do you insult my What? You don't want humanity. Okay. If problem. you go, if you want to debate. Do you want humanity or not? Do you want to debate? Do you insult my problem? Do you want to debate? Do you insult my problem? Do you want to debate? I don't debate people who have like I don't debate that. you either then. You can't oh, debate him. That's, that's the difference. thing. We stand at a standstill. If you don't want to debate me, I don't have to debate you. I'm not going to debate We be trying to engage you in conversation. Me, then no. we'll have it. No, no, then forget it. I don't want to debate you. I can you. say whatever I want. No, I don't have to. Yes, I, I can. With you proof. You. No, evidence. You can. Evidence. You can. We will expose no. you and refute you. No, no you can't. No, your, your religion is a religion from Satan. No. Okay, yes it is. Islam is from Satan. Wrong. There you go. I don't proof. have to prove it to you. You don't have to prove, prove it to me. I can state whatever I want. Why would we stone the devil on Hajj if it's wrong him? Whatever, dude. Yeah, you have nothing whatever, to say. Dude. You don't understand what you're Why do you have about? the moon, crescent moon, on top of your mosque? Are you a moon worshipper? That's not no, it's not yes, you are. Islam is, is that an Islamic moon symbol? Not worshiping is that an Islamic symbol? Is that an Islamic symbol? Is that an Islamic symbol? That is, is that an Islamic symbol? Because Muhammad so was a Sabian. Is that an Islamic symbol? Is that an Islamic symbol? Muhammad was a Sabian. Muhammad was a devil worshipping. Moon worshipping. No moon Yes, you have the moon on top of your mosque. It doesn't mean it's worship. What does it mean? Tell me what it means. It doesn't mean it's worship. I didn't ask you what it it doesn't mean, it I asked you what it means. I'm telling now you. tell me what it means. I'm telling you. Yeah, we'll tell you. No, no, no. He made Listen. the claim. I'm not listening to him. Calm no, 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 you made the claim. Being and being you, you made the claim. Yeah, I made the claim. It's claim. not worship. No, no, you it cannot was, prove it. it you cannot prove it. Oh, you want evidence from him? You want evidence from him? Islam. But you're not giving any evidences. I'm not in command of Islam right now. Why don't you take it down? There is no God but God. Why don't you take it down? Why do you want proof from him? Why do you want proof from him? The Turks ruling Islam right now. A second. He wants us to take a particular symbol on the mosque. A particular symbol is a moon don't symbol. It's a moon god. I can do whatever I want. I don't disrespect this guy. He doesn't respect me. No so don't tell you, me. Doesn't matter. I so he wants me him. to answer his question, but he won't allow me to answer. That is the level of civility yeah, yeah. and humanity that this guy has. I won't you allow you to early? say that symbol. It's a hypocrite. Right. You are a hypocrite. So, I'm going to expose you because you said that symbol. Anything. It was a moon symbol that I said. It's a moon god. It's not so. Worse. You're yeah. afraid to say moon god because Jad exposes evidence. your does, false religion? Does anyone does, are you who has a moon symbol god? of a moon on the top of their mosque, do any of these people, believers, worship the moon? No. Who do you, why do you have the moon up there? Why do you have the moon up there? I'll tell you. Yeah. Because the moon represented by the Turkish Empire. The Turks. Ottoman. Are you going to let me finish? Go ahead. Good. Learning some civility. Well done. <laughs> Kudos to you. Now. I want to expose you more, that's why. Yeah, you're doing a so, great job. Right? Before what Muslims were doing, as they were opening up the lands, 
They were taking in all these buildings which are now empty. No one is worshipping Mitra or Christ or Mary. Muslims converted those places. And put their moon god on top of it. No they, converted, they converted these buildings, <laughs> not yeah, by demolishing it, god. not by demolishing those buildings, simply... Simply putting the sign of on, Islam on, on top, which is the moon. Simply by removing the cross. And putting so a moon. Where are people worshipping the cross before and then? They were, they? they were venerating it. They were venerating because it had meaning. It. In, right. In, 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 so there in were people who were venerating and worshipping the cross. Oh, okay, whatever. So, That's your version. No, no, no. Let's According to this gentleman who's being now a little bit more and more civilized, <laughs> according to his argument, because there was a symbol of a cross, Not people were worshipping the cross. So what Islam did instead he started was worshipping the moon. They removed that symbol. The yeah, man. Ah. I've been worshipping the moon all As my life. They were True As one, they so were passing by, the yeah. they realized it's, it's no true. longer a church. Ah, it's it is a moon god worshiping place. place. All the moon worshippers can come and worship their moon. Ah, they worship the moon. Yeah, that's why they put the moon on top of it. Because Quraysh was a so now, Indian tribe. So now we realize, he doesn't even understand. Look, firstly, this gentleman has no understanding of Islamic history. Okay. In Arabia, me, in Arabia, Islamic history. Don't, tell me, don't, don't, tell me don't, don't interrupt. Tribe was Muhammad so, Quraysh. What so, was the god of Quraysh? Tell me, were they Sabians or were they Christians or were they Jews? Firstly, in Arabia, in Arabia, in Hijaz, in where Mecca and Medina was, there is no historical evidence that the pagan Arabs ever worshipped a god which is a moon god. Lies! 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 lies. What's your evidence? Sabian. Sabian. Ah, I will show you all the Sabians were star worshippers. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. still there. I There's two types of Sabians, one that also follow John the Baptist, but there is also the original Sabians from Haran. Haran is the place where Abraham used to worship before he became a prophet. The, the, the origin where Gobli Tepe is, where they have the pillars. That is worship of the idols from the very beginning. And that's Haran, and that's Sabian, and that's who Muhammad was worshipping. Get it? That was the he, Sabians, right? Sabians. What are the principal deities of Sabians? What are you talking about? They worship the moons and the stars and all the gods. I'm asking you once again. Listen what? carefully. What are the principal deities of the Sabians within the Arabian Peninsula that you say? Sun, moon, God, all of them. All the stars and the moon, sun and the moon. And what is the name of this moon god that they worship? Hubal. Hubal is a moon god? Yeah. And who told you that? It's in the history. Hubal. Which history book? Sin. Sin was his name. Oh, now it's not Hubal anymore. Sin and Hubal. In different languages, different, language, wait, wait, different wait. cultures. Slow it's Hubal down. Slow and down. Sin. It's all there. Hang on. It's all there. Yeah. Sin yeah. was a moon deity in which region? Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. And where is Mecca in Mesopotamia? What do you mean? Like, I said Sabians. They came from there. Remember, what we are talking about. Okay. He's the Arab pagans, the, question, the, the Arab question, pagans. Again, again, the question Let me ask comes. you again. Let's ask Were you the question. The Arab again. Pagans what was the Quraysh tribe? What was the name of the tribe? What was the, the religion of the Quraysh tribe? Go, what was it? Go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't invade yeah, my yeah. personal space. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. A little bit further down. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go, go back, go back. No, you go, go back. Go back, go back. Okay, tell me, what was the religion of Quraysh? Okay, so I'm going back now. Let him not come any forward, okay? It's not because he smells. That's, the, that's irrelevant to the debate. Now. Okay, so now, within the Arabian... Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Don't interrupt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't interrupt. Within the Arabian Peninsula, where Prophet Muhammad was situated, yeah. did the pagan Arabs worship a moon god? Yeah. 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 Oh, they did. Oh, God, Once again. God. One second. Yeah. That's why they're going to yeah. Yeah. Hang on. That's why you're where, up there. Where is the evidence that in Hijaz, in, in Mecca, in Medina, that the pagan Arabs worship the moon god? Yes, yes. Okay, I will give it to you. You want that? What were the idols that Muhammad destroyed in Mecca? What were they representing? Oh, yeah, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. Go on, tell I'm me, I'm here. listening. I asked the question. I'm ready for the answer. I am asking you the question, you need to answer. Hello, I 
asked you a question. What were the 365 tell me, idols? Tell me. I asked you. It's in your You're sources. the ones who know it. Go and tell it's me. It's in your source. The question I asked is, what is your evidence that within the Hijaz region, where Prophet Muhammad was situated, Mecca and Medina, Did that Muhammad the Arabs did not get rid of the idols? I in ask Mecca. you. I ask you again. I ask you again. We have. We have. Dancing around the question. If someone makes a claim, who has the onus to substantiate the claim? The one who I makes the claim? I just gave you the substantiation. Did not Muhammad destroy the idols of Mecca? And what were they? What do you mean, what were they? Yeah, tell me what were they? What they were, were the idols? Sabians. No, Muhammad's what? tribe was Sabian the, tribe. The idols. You go into history, when? you will see the Sabians, even in Keep Quran, a distance. Even in Quran, it says they were star worshippers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep a distance Quran. and tell me, what were the idols that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam destroyed? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen, my friend, idols are idols. Idols are what not were they? Of were they idols of the moon? Idols are not idols. Ah, moon yeah, yeah. and sun and all the stars and planets Wait. that they believe. So you are now making a claim that the idols that Prophet Muhammad destroyed, they were idols of the moon god and the sun god, is it? Is that what you claim it? No, he did not destroy the moon god because that was the god of Quraysh. He destroyed all the other ones. Where his do god, you get that was, that is this the, that is silly the statement okay. that the pagan Quraysh no, worshipped the moon god? the pagan Quraysh has put the moon god on top of your mosque that you lied, that Turks put it there. Turks are not in power. They were not in power before 1600 when Muslims were using the symbol. You Since are when? a liar. Since when? This symbol has been used by pagans for thousands of years. That's You're a liar. liar. Well, one moment, one moment, brother, one moment. That's a lie. So now, That's the truth. Let him finish. Are you finished? finished? Right. So now, claims after claims we hear is that pagan Arabs had the symbols of a moon god, the crescent, yes. over the Kaaba. They worship the moon god. It's so, there now. Uh, Look at the I picture listen. of Kaaba now. I listen. It's right there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can see it. It's there. He so now, Come on, somebody go all, look at all we want, on top of it. all we want yeah. is historical evidence to substantiate your silly claim that the pagan Arabs silly of Hijaz worship a moon god. Answer the question. What was the what was the religion of Quraysh? Ah, that's a fair question. The question was, well, was you made a claim no, that the no, Arabs no, worship no, the moon god. Okay. Substantiate. You lost. Be, it's be over. Fair. You cannot answer the question I be asked fair. you. See what later. was that? Uh, run away. Run away. I told you. You are not. You are not away. capable you of answering anything. You think you are? You are not capable of answering anything. Okay. To the crowds. To the crowds of this particular camera. Yeah. Let me speak to you. Let me speak to you. We love you, Masoor. But I know you love us. Now, so those of you who are really sincere, critical minded, yeah. what I would suggest you do simply is go to expert academic historians, such as anyone of your liking, uh, any, any, prof uh, any professors who are experts uh, in. Give us one. Give us one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking to him. I'm not Only talking one. to him. He's asking so, for one. He yeah. did. Only I'm not talking I'm repeating to what he now, said. Any yeah. professors. He's asking. In run away. reputable universities, just run away already, man. Where they are knowledgeable on the history of the Arabs, Where? give it to us. Go ask them, give it to us now. Read their works, and you'll find none of them will tell you that the pagan seventh century, as he cannot tell, the sixth century, sixth century, ever within the Hijaz region worshipped a moon god call the moon god you will not find wow. anything this gentleman who represents you doesn't deserve to represent you do you know why because he will look make you look silly so what you should do is this when you go when you go and go and verify from the experts that there is no historical evidence he doesn't know the expert pagan arab worshiping the moon god then tell him that he needs to one before day, he comes to talk. Bye-bye.
Hey, Mansoor, so here, is, here is Mr. Mansoor. I didn't want to discuss this with him because he's a runner. Just ah. like all the other ones. Ah. Run, you, run, run. You can ask he Robo Toilet. He didn't answer. He mentioned. You can ask Robo Toilet. Nobody. I can Robert show Toilet. him the Toilet. And I will make a video after this yep. to show you the Robert Who will tell me Robert the Arabians were star worshippers. Yep. Ask they him. They were star worshippers. They were moon And if you find that it's all your Toilet. preacher is mistaken, tell him so afterwards. No, he's not. He will I'll prove it to you, and I will okay. make a video that shows you you are a runner, you are a liar, you don't deserve to be debated because you come from a place did you, of lies. Did you give any your deception of your God? Oh, the only thing, the you only thing, from a deceiver. The only thing you are capable deceiver, of doing and you is just making bogus claims without substantiating anything. With your deception, did you give you any? We don't need your deception. Did you, you give any evidence? These people, zilch, none. Nothing all you can, can do is just talk and waffle. That's all you're capable of. Arabian tribe, Muhammad was a moon god worshipper, and he put the moon on top, and you know that, and you are still worshiping it, even though the Turks are not in power. Who you can take that down? Who told you that? You, what? That the Prophet Muhammad Islam put a moon symbol on top of the Kaaba. Who told you that? Okay, so the, where, where, when was the moon that? put up there? No, you who made a claim. Who told you that? Okay, so who put it up there? Now I'm asking you. You said the that Prophet symbol did it. has been around for thousands of years before Islam yeah. by the pagans. And where did you get that information from? Go look at history. Which history? Which book? I will make a video. Which, which book? Show you the history he's talking about. Do you know which book? And get you which historian? Book. Which historical book? Historian. Which, which, name me the historian. I will get you everything. No, tell me now. Which historian? Which historian? Anybody. I will get you everything. Oh, you don't know it. You just waffle. No, I don't. What do you mean I don't know it? What? Which historian made that claim? I will show you the historian. Which historian made that claim? I don't have the name in my head right you now. You haven't given the name. Any academic work? So I can yes, find this information. Yes. Which one? I will get it to you. I will make a video. No. Prove I want, you wrong. I don't want like a video. No. I want. I just asked you. Academic You would not come up with a single academic. Okay, you have a double standard. Right? Can I tell you all the academics you need to know? No. Now, let no, me no, all the no, academics now. No, no, yes, no. no. Who is making the right. positive claim? Oh, oh, here, here, here. Wait. Don't run away. Um, I can't tell. No, no. So now you will find. No, 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 it's okay. I just want to understand what everybody is saying. No, 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 we can debate. These guys are winning. No, they will come to me. No, they would. I would chop it to pieces and give you to them. So if you read. Let me give you some references, right, for you to read. Okay, let's start with a few of them. What are you uh, getting references for, for now? References to tell you what? that you were all the way waffling about no, no, no. Arabian Mr. history what? and their religion. What? And their no, religion. No. Tell me, what are you referencing? I'm telling you now. What are you referencing? Moon God was not worshipped in Hijaz. Moon God was not worshipped in Hijaz. Yeah, right. Let's see. So I want you to go and read these works. Show me, show me. No, show you. I'm going to ask you to read them. No, no, no. No, no, you said you're going to pull up the reference. It's going to show us that there was no moon god worship in Hijaz. I asked you to show that. I will show you the literature and all the history about the Sabians and that wait, wait, wait. they were Wait, wait, we're not talking about Sabians. We are talking the about... Sabians were in Arabia. Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the Hijaz where Prophet Muhammad was, in the 7th century, Sabians. you were established. establish... Oh, man, he's still, he's still a liar. Hey, hey, are, hey, the right. not in the, in the, are the Sabians listen, not mentioned in the... Are the Sabians not mentioned? Listen. All you are capable of, you're saying you're a liar, you're a liar. Do you know who says that? Do you know who keeps on saying you're a liar, you're a liar? He's the one who lies. He says that here it's illegal. It's legal in Islam to lie. So you are a liar. Because your, your, your God is a deceiver and he sends you to deceive and lie. So that's fine for you, but not for me. I don't lie. You can read. You can lie as much as you want. Look, let me tell you about the South Arabia and North Arabia. Rickmans, J. Rickman, South Arabia, religion of, in D. N. Friedman, editor in chief in the Uncle Bible Dictionary, vol 190, 1992, volume 6, double day, New York, well, page let me 172. See it. Let me see it. I'll take a picture of it. Let me see it. No, no, Why don't you go and read? Well, I will take a picture. Let me just double check. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let's see. Take a picture. All right. 
Let's see. Saudi Arabia. You can find out what the religious belief system is, what do they believe. See, there was no moon yeah. god worshipping pagans in Hijaz at the time of Muhammad. Yeah. There were no one who had worship of moon god where Prophet Muhammad was in the past. Okay? In, the, in, the, in that region, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and what was the name of the moon god for everyone's record? Sin. Sin. In certain tradition, it's also called by Hubal. Hang on. In certain. Oh, wait. wait. Yeah. Do we have historical evidence that Hubal was ever called a moon god? Uh, you want me to pull up all the resources? Like I said, I'm going to get you everything. First, Sin make god. a claim. Then you prove okay, evidence. Fine. You what can you anything. make? I'm not proving anything. You're wasting, you're I'm not proving anything. You I am setting up, up I'm setting up the framework for discussion. Like right. So you don't have any references. But he has, he has to prove so are you claiming? So he is claiming. He is claiming that Hubal was a moon god. I, will, I told yeah? your camera. I will produce all the evidence for all these claims. And what are the claims you're proving? That Hubal was a moon god. That Hubal was the god of of Quran. No. Sin God, the you are going to prove god. to us. That is why you have the moon on slow top up, of your mouth. Slow, slow. You guys are moon god worship. Are you going to prove to us that Hubal was a moon god? Before Muhammad created Islam, he worshipped the goddess Allah. Allah. Are you going to prove to us the next time? The mother goddess Allah why you was listening? actually the consort Are you of going to god prove? Allah. Are you, you guys going to, are full of paganism. Are you going to prove to us that Hubal is a moon god? Yes. Right. That's his claim he's making. Okay, I will get you the video. We'll take all that. Uh, stay, 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 stay. We will wait for the reference and then we'll see what, yeah, yeah, yeah. what the references he hasn't say. Given the reference. He told us yeah, yeah. he's going to give. I am not making any claims. You are the ones he making just, claims. No, you just he went into the phone and said, I'm going to give you the reference right now. And you didn't. What? He's what a liar. Reference? And you guys know what? it. I will get you all of that. I said, I said. I read that also. You are Arabian going to bring evidence Hubal that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's community worshipped the moon god. Arabia, listen, read this. Read it. Yeah, in Arabia mythology, Hubal, Arabic was god worship in pre-Islamic Arabia, notably by the Quraysh in the in Mecca. As a moon god? Does it say moon god? Go away. Go away. Does it say moon god? Go away with your lies. Did you see that? Stop lying. He is deceiving in front of you. Hubal is a moon god. Is that what it says? Does it say that? Can I? Can you read that again? You can laugh. You can laugh. In the end, you guys will cry. In the end, you will cry. Did when you? Jesus comes, sorry, you I may have cry. missed it. That's okay. You what you read? Coming back. What Not you Muhammad. read? He's dead. Does it say Hubal was a moon god? Does it say Hubal was a moon god? There. That's the. No. Does it say Hubal was a moon god? That's the. No, no, no. Why don't you read it? Loco, loco. Read it. What? What you? What you read? Say it again. I missed it. I missed it. You. Did you hear? He didn't say that. So he has to receive listen you. Listen to it on the camera. Your own eyes. Listen to it on the camera. I just read it. Yeah. It's in the. Why? It's on the camera. It's in the camera. Watch the camera. I will show you a movie. It's okay. What? I read it in front of you. It is. What was the? What was the? the what? What was it? Okay. But let's say it's not. What was it? No, 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 no. Just tell me what was the god of Quraysh. Just do that. Quraysh has many. Yeah, you guys are liar and deceiver. Can't answer one wait, simple wait, question. Wait, 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 wait. Who is the god of Quran? Did he not make a claim no, at the time of Muhammad? I'm asking a question. No, 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 no. I asked a question. No, All these Muslims standing there have no answer. You mean the Come on, you answer it. You answer it. You answer, answer it. What? You answer it. Answer what? Answer what? Who is going to answer? You what answer was what? the god of Quraysh at the time of Muhammad? The god had. The Quraysh has many gods. You mean none of them was a moon god? Yeah, no. Which one? Which one was their god? They didn't have a moon god. Which one was their god? You make a claim there was a moon god. You need to substantiate it. No, I substantiated because Muhammad had the moon put up, put up in the. Where's your evidence for that? Go look at Mecca. Go look at Mecca. Go look at Mecca. Sure, 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 it's got the moon sure, sure. god up there. You're making an academic claim okay. without an so academic no, evidence. So Kaaba doesn't have that the moon. That is the level of the Christian polemicists. Yeah. The Christian polemicists yeah. are like this. I don't. I don't, like, I don't want to say anything. We don't have evidence. evidence. So this is what you get. This is what you get. These Christian polemicists, they make claims as if they're making academic claims. When you ask them to substantiate it, they say, go look.
up. Go and make canal. I mean, how can I go and look it up now, make canal, when this was a claim that was in the seventh century? So this is the level of dishonesty of these people. That's right. In front of your own, clearly in front of you, there's so much deceiving. Subhanallah, may Allah save us from the deception of these individuals. But you're not giving us the evidence because they come from a cow worship. No, no, I don't want to call you. Do you not have the moon on top of your mask? I don't want to call you a liar. But no, tell me you don't have the moon on top of your mask. So here's the thing you made the claim. That's completely fine, right? We can agree? That's fine. You can give us a paper, you can give us a historian, you can give us a study, as all science is debated, to substantiate your claim. You're not doing this. I can't tell you and I can't prove a negative. Okay, camera, look at this picture. Sir, <laughs> sir he's going to show it to the camera, not to you. Look he's going to show a picture to the camera. This is a photo. Could yeah, you give us a piece of evidence? What, what, what is a photo? This is a false photo? <laughs> okay, it's a false photo. Give all us right. evidence. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> what about this mask? What about all these no, masks? What about it? Wait, wait, sir. So, sir, what is the moon doing on top of your mask? You, okay. What is the moon doing on top of your mask? Tell us, what is the moon doing? Well, then I told you, what? it's a moon god, you're worshipping okay. moon god. Where is your, this isn't evidence. Okay, I asked you a question, I answered your question. Oh, I showed you, oh, wait, you have wait, the moon wait, on wait, top wait. of your mask. You want to know why it's such a low one? Yeah, no, because it represents, uh, what is it represent to a time of Ramadan? No, the moon in Islam is, we count the times, the months, right? So Islam goes by the lunar calendar rather than the solar calendar. So the symbol of the moon is representing only for counting purposes. When the Ottomans okay. put it up there, in the top of the building uh -huh. is to differentiate between the churches and everything else and so that this is an Islamic place of worship. They did not, as I said earlier, they did not destroy all the churches that they have conquered or they opened up. They simply put a sign there that now this is an Islamic place of worship. They left the whole building intact. So this is the tradition of the Ottomans. This doesn't mean the Ottomans somehow made all of the Muslims worship a moon god because the Quran itself says do not prostrate to the sun or to the moon but prostrate to the one who created them both. Did you not even hear about this? All right, so he said that the moon is the calendar and that is what it represents, the time. The lunar calendar. All right, we all heard that, right? Now, let's go there. The lunar calendar was followed by the Jews, by the Indians, by the... The whole world was following moon calendar. Hindus were following moon calendar. Did they put the moon on top of their temple? Did the Jews put the moon on top of their... Uh, this guy doesn't even comprehend. What saying? is the significance of that's the, the problem moon. of comprehension. It's, it's like a timepiece. It's like a device that God used for keeping time. Did he say start worshipping it and putting it on top Who's of Who's worshipping it? The, why are you putting it on top of your mask? Hang on. If I put a cross in there, does mean I'm worshipping the cross? You're venerating it. Hang on. Yeah, you're venerating it because we have a significance of cross. What's the significance of moon? I just told you. Don't you get what? it? No, because I, 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 time. So time keeping is something. Okay, yeah. Do you, okay, so do you have, have a comprehension problem? No, but do you understand that time was kept? The same way yeah, by have a all the problem. cultures. Listen to me first. If you want me to answer, you gotta listen to what I'm saying. Oh, now he wants me to listen. If you want me, because you're 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 engaging me. Oh, so very you, good. Stick to that principle. Go on. Talk. No, before you. Uh, so I told you, he just lied. He said that because the moon, that is not the significance. Everybody was having the moon calendar. Nobody would put the moon. On the, if you're using a car to get somewhere from here to there, it's a device. It's something that you're using to do something. If you're telling time, God kept the moon. Yes, it's true. Christians, Jews, everybody was following the moon for calendar. Why would you put it on top of your mask? Okay, what, what, you tell us. No, brother. Okay, no, don't, don't, no, wait. I'm, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Let oh, me he's finish. Not finished. Let me finish. When he finishes, we'll respond. Yeah, let me finish. Now, earlier, he said, we didn't do it. The Turks did it. That argument now is gone. How is it gone? Because the Turks didn't put it. It was because Muhammad told us to follow it because the moon is what. When, when did Prophet Muhammad what come on the What kind of deception is this? In front of you, he deceived you. Right. Didn't he say that earlier? Brother, 
Did Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam command us? Did Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam command us to put a symbol of the moon on the top of the mosques? No. Did he? No, he didn't. No. So why did you put it there? Hang on. You made a claim earlier on. Prophet himself put it up there, and it was always there. Before the Turks came into the power, did our religious places like mosques did they have the crescent symbol on the top of the mosques? No, they weren't. Did the flags have the crescent moon? Hang on. Did, did the flags have the crescent moon? I'm telling you, before before the Turks instigated this symbol on top of the mosques, what were the mosques having on top of them? Did they have a symbol of the crescent there? Before the Turks came into power, were there any mosques with the symbol of a crescent? I'm asking you, and we're all waiting to hear. Go ahead, you're making your no, point. No, you need to answer. Before the Turks came into power, and they started putting those crescents on the top of the mosques, were the earlier mosques with one with the crescent even before the Turks? Okay, so the crescent moon was not in I'm asking part. you. It was. It was. What's your evidence for it? I'm going to show you, like I said before, I will show you all the evidence. Can you show us now? Show us. I showed you. Okay, so let me ask you this. Show us what? If, if it was the Turks who did it, and if they did it against the Islam, right? Who said, who said it's against Islam? They only differentiated it to differentiate between the churches, which is a religious place of worship, did rather they get than that decree to differentiate listen, it on the moon god. Listen carefully. Did they get that decree from Quran? Where do you did they find, get that decree from? Okay. Do you find any writing, historical writing, from the Ottoman Turks that they ever said this is a symbol of a moon god and you should worship it? Do you have anything? No. Okay. No. 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 So what? Why did they put finished. it? There? So no. It's You're not. finished. You're, yeah. You're finished. Okay, go ahead. Be happy now. Be happy. What is the you lied. What did they lie about? Okay, why don't you take it down? If it's not the symbol. Oh, so it's no longer the argument that it's a symbol of moon god. The question is, I don't like it. Take it down. No, no, no. Look at how the gold falls. No, no, no. He's saying the Turks put it there, and it was from the. I said who decreed it? Who said to put that moon right. up there? There are many the mosques. He said no. Without, who did without, that? Without, yeah. Why would Kaaba you choose the moon? Does it have a meaning? The, the Kaaba. Does the Kaaba have a moon symbol on top of it? They put it on top of the church. Um, Cross has a meaning. Right. 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 And who is the moon? There's a crescent moon. It's called crescent moon. Okay, what's the significance? You worship the crescent moon? No, you are. No, you don't. Muhammad did. That's why you guys are putting that up there. He would, he would say, so why do you put up on YouTube? Why? That you is it because of the calendar? Is it because of the calendar? Keep back it up, no, man. Is it because of the you calendar? You smell. Stay away. Is it because of the calendar? Right. Let me tell you. So is it because of the calendar that you put the moon up there? I'll tell you. How many times are you going to change your story? Listen carefully. Keep changing your story. Come on. Now, now listen. New, new story. Come on. Now listen. listen. As I said from the very beginning, when the Turks, brother, when the I'm answering him now. When the Turks came into power, the Ottomans, when the Turks came into power, this is one of the things they did to differentiate between religious places of worship instead of demolishing the whole building. People are leaving, man. It's why, getting why, tiring. Why are you interrupting You're tedious. such an uncivilized Your way? arguments are tedious, bro. Everybody's why are you interrupting me in such an uncivilized way? No, man. Learn some civility. So let me continue. So yeah, now, answer me. Is it, I am answering. Is it calendar so thank you very much. So as I am saying, when the Ottomans was in power, when the Ottomans were in power yeah. and they opened up the land, when they went to different places, they had conquered, opened up these lands in which there were religious places which were. You said it before. Can you stop repeating yourself, bro? I am so much time. I'm summarizing Please. for your own benefit because you keep missing it. You have some little bit of comprehension issue. I'm trying to get rid of that. I'm trying to get rid of your comprehension issue. Right. So they they made sure, instead of building and erecting new mosques altogether, they simply converted those buildings into mosques. Not by demolishing everything, by putting a mihrab, removing or covering some of those iconic I icons, right, yeah. on the windows and so on, yeah. removing the idols of, of your man god and so on, remove all of that, and remove the cross which you venerate, as you say, which you worship, removing 
all that and put a symbol of... Of your veneration. Right. Just use the word veneration. No, not for veneration. Because then you're replacing the... Pri Look, if you put it somewhere else, you replace that symbol with this uh, symbol. In your thinking... Look, look, in your thinking... Replacement means you're venerating it. Sure. You're putting it listen, in the face no, of... Listen. Carefully, listen carefully. Stop lying, so, you're deceiving. There are people who think, you know what, if you if you are worshipping a frog before and now you worship a man, it's the same thing. That is analogy. Islam says rather, no, it's not. When you abandon idol worship, full stop, no idol worship. So when they put the symbols in their flag, they had La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Where? Is it on, on the moon? Is it written on the moon? Um, la, 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 la. In a flag? Were there any moon in the flag? Of course there were. Yes, there were. You lied. What is the what is this flag? Of, what is the flag of Pakistan, Iraq, uh, Turkey? All these flags have the moon and the stars. Do you have a comprehension issue? What? Am I talking about Pakistan today? No. I'm talking okay. about Even the during Pakistan, the time of they were the first the flags of crescent moon. First, when Prophet Muhammad SAW went with his companions to fight, what did his flag say? A crescent symbol? It had crescent moons on it. Yes, as well as your thing. So what? Just look at this camera and say that again once again. Look at your, your own camera and say that again. Yeah, yeah the, the flag of the Muslims prophet was. They were conquering no, 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 not Muslim. Look how he's lying. Muslims. No, what? say when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Say when Prophet Muhammad was fighting, his flag had gone. Tell us. What? No, I'm saying no. I'm not going to say what you want me to say. That's what you said. No, I said the Muslims are flying. I'm not talking the about Muslims. Flag whenever they were I was, Let me ask you again. No. When Prophet Muhammad alaihi salatu wasallam, when he was fighting. He had a flag. What was in the flag? Was there a crescent symbol on the flag? There might have been. Was there? I'll find out for you. So you don't I know? You don't no, know. Not right now. Oh, so you don't know now? I am great. Okay, fine. Find out and tell us. If you find out that this wasn't the case, that then that your whole not. argument. No, it doesn't. Okay, no, yes. it doesn't. But my argument, you didn't get it. I said all the conquests that the Muslims were doing were under the flag of the crescent. And I will prove that to you. This is pre-Turkish time. This is right now after this Abu Bakr time. Or Say that again, pre-Turkish time. time. Abu Bakr time, when they were doing conquering, they were falling, they had the crescent moon okay. as their symbol. Repeat that once again. Why? Because people may have missed it. And he may have edited it. Are you trying to say that Muslims worship the moon? Is that what you're trying to say? No. He did not destroy <laughs> all the gods of pagan. He kept one of them that was Quraysh god of paganism was the moon god. Why? Because he, that was his tribe. Why? No, no. Why would, why would Muhammad lead us to unknowingly worship the moon? What is the reason for talking about this? Because why lie? Okay, why? Why? Because Muhammad is a liar. Deceiver. Why? You, you, just, just because in your Quran it says Allah is a deceiver. No. A Quran deceiver does not send a person of truth. A deceiver only sends a deceiver. In the Bible, God is not a deceiver. Wait, 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 wait sir, wait. You're saying our you Quran claim? says that Allah is a deceiver? Yeah. Our Mother. Quran says it. Mother. Please show Mother. it. Please show it. Does it mean deceiver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does no, Mother mean? What does can I ask them to deny it that no, the Quran doesn't say that Allah is a mother? You're making a claim okay. and then you're uh, saying I'm the, not going to It's all over, it's all over the place. Come go, on, go, man. go on YouTube, open your YouTube. You have phone, sure, you're making go phone. Phone. Open the phone and type in if I Allah is a deceiver, maker, and then tell me it's not there. If I tell you the Bible is no, 200 pages, no, no, no. I have to prove it. No. You can't prove me, otherwise I'll yeah, 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 yeah. Well, why is he defending that? Come, my friend, listen, 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 what is Allah? What is Allah, Allah not you a market? Listen, listen, let me put it you know another you know Let why? me put it another way for you. Go for let me put it another way. Does the Quran mention that Allah is a market? I yes or no? You, show me. you don't know. Okay, fine. If you don't know, then go and find out. When you know, then tell me. When you come <laughs> Brother, and say it's again. not in, the, in there. So now, remember what he said. We will, you know. He misunderstanding the word makar. He's gonna explain me makar. Before we do that, okay. um, in Jeremiah, uh, now he's talking about in, in the Bible, okay, do you know why? This debate is basically over. It's gonna
away. You just couldn't he's answer. Away. And I put on away. Sokoy is not. He's going to go. He's going to go Jeremiah to Biden now. Because he can't answer. From in, in Jeremiah 4.10, then I said, Alas, sovereign Lord, how completely you have deceived these people in Jerusalem by saying you have peace when the sword is our throat. So the Bible says, what? God is a deceiver. No, it no, does not. It. it does not. Read, 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 no, read. This is a story of a... Read it. Read it. I, I know read what it. it says. I know what read it. Read it. I know what... No, read it, please. I'm not reading it. I know what well, it is. I've read it. I, you so, just read it. You just read it. How it's completely you have deceived these people? No. So your God no. is a deceiver. No, no, it's not. Case closed. No, it's not. See you later. Sorry. Okay. Don't misinterpret the Bible. I'm I not mis make I just read it. I just read it. I just read it. He gave you a your Quran says Allah is the greatest of deceivers. My Quran says it. Yes. Okay. Give us, give us the, the Bible. Verse. Here. Not give us the Quran. Which, um, Explaining to God, was, but he was mistaken. What he has just said. One more. Are you? Therefore, God, brother, brother, brother. Here's one more. Therefore, God sent them a strong delusion, so that they may believe what is false. Is sending a strong delusion. And it's not cherry picking anymore. And this is demonstrating your do. biblical God is a deceiver. The whole chapter is Thank you, Nasser. Out the context. So now you realize read out of context, these people read it out of such context, a liar. Read it out of context and then make your point by cherry picking. What's the context? The tell me. What's the context? Read the whole chapter. You tell me. Well, read the chapter. You tell me. Bring it up. No, you tell me. What's the context? The it's God sends a strong delusion so no, people can be deceived. No, no, no. They can believe in a false Because of their false. heart, the hardness of their heart. And God, God deceived them. Saying. No, because what did God, God do? said, that's what you want, then God had that What did God deceive them? Wait, wait, what did God do? So you said he was a brother. Come here, come here. Read the whole chapter. Let's establish what a biblical so God is deceiving. read the whole chapter. Therefore, read the whole chapter, wait a second, Mansour. wait a second, don't run now. Therefore, no, no, you're God sends them a strong delusion. This is not the chapter. So read that the chapter, Mansoor. They may believe stop, what is false. Stop, stop misquoting the so word. now. Who is making people believe in the lie? God, uh, biblical Mansoor God. Mansoor is reading out of context, just uh, reading of the words. What is the context? Read the, read the You tell chapter. me how this read is wrong. Read the full chapter. No, you tell me what's wrong with it. I just told you, you didn't believe it. No, you tell me what's wrong with the text. Read the chapter, bro. Okay. So now, Bible, you now okay. realize the doesn't say that your game is up. Your Instead of accusing the Islamic God of a deceiver, Islamic the biblical God, God has been proven to be a deceiver in his own words. And he sends deceivers. You eyes are deceived because your God is a Excuse deceiver. Me. According to can your you own tell me what God. it means here? It does not mean what you're saying. No, can you tell it does not mean what God is, mean? is a deceiver. What does it mean? It's, a, it's what somebody is saying about God. When they have a, this impression, mm -hmm. so read the whole chapter, you'll get the, you'll mm -hmm. get the context. Hang on, hang on. What, what is he saying? Okay. What? What is it saying? I'm not going to go into that. I just told you. You misquoted it. And what is the right quotation? Read the full context. Now you tell me. Well, you read it. Oh, you, you don't know. The word, read the full context. I'm I'm telling you, what's wrong with the text? No, then you, you, why, why doesn't he read it? For this, why, why, what's wrong with the text? I, I, I can't say. I, I, yeah, yeah. Tell him the text no, says, no, no. hang on. If you read something in the Quran, read, uh, I'm not talking to no. Can we make full the full chapter? Yeah. Show me the full chapter, bro. Yeah. Go. Chapter 2. Go and read it. Can you read it? Okay, now. Are you going to read the whole thing? Yeah, yeah, let him read it. Yeah. Now, concerning the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and are being gathered together to him, we ask you brothers not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed either by a spirit or a spoken word or a letter seeming to be from us to the effect that the day of the Lord has come. Let no one deceive you in any way for that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed the son of destruction who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called God or object of worship. So then he takes, can we move it up? Okay, uh, let me see where it is. Uh, so-called God, so object of worship, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things, and you know what is restraining him now so that he may be revealed in his time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains it will do so until he is out of the way. And then the lawlessness 
one will, the lawless one will be revealed, whom the God Jesus will kill with the breath of his mouth and bring to nothing. Go ahead. This one is right here. What, Can which, you move what, it up? What were you right reading? Here. Right here, the breath of his mouth. Which were you reading? This one right here. The Lord Jesus, not God Jesus. Okay. So read it correctly. You got caught, caught there, red handed. What, 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 what was it? You said God Jesus when it says no, God No, you Jesus. misheard, bro. You misheard. What okay, I maybe I've misheard. Carry okay, on. Yeah. All right, now, now you made me miss where. Okay, and the lawlessness will be revealed whom the Lord Jesus. Carry on. Okay. Will kill with the breath of his mouth and bring to nothing by the appearance of his coming. The coming of the lawlessness one is by the activity of Satan with all power and false signs and wonders. I'm going to move it up. And with all wicked deception for those who are perishing, believe they, uh, because they refuse to uh, love the truth and be saved, therefore, God sends them a strong delusion so that they, did you re see stop. the content? Don't talk, read. I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to stop. Okay. Therefore, God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false in order that they may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Now, it's very self-explanatory. You, uh, you read it out of context. What does it mean? It means the, those people who reject Jesus Christ and keep on sinning after the, the Jal comes in this world, which is the Antichrist, God will give them to their desires because they refuse God and follow the Antichrist. That's what it means. When it says, and therefore God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false. Yes. So what is false? Right. So because God are, makes refuse, them believe in something that is false. Because they refuse to believe Jesus. Instead, they're following Antichrist. So God deceives them to believe in something no, that is false. God gives them to their desire yes. what they wanted. Yeah. And makes them believe in something that is false. He does not make them. You making things up. Therefore, therefore God sends them a strong sends delusion. Them and delusion. Who's deluding them? Okay. No. Who's deluding them? Okay. Now. Who's did deluding you read, them? Did you read the context? Who is deluding them? Okay. You read are, it. Are they following Satan? Who's deluding them? Are they following Satan? Excuse me. Are they following Satan? I have no idea. You tell me. No, you don't have. Okay. Dude, go read it. Try to understand no. it. Stop okay. misquoting no, it. Tell me. Tell me. Says, I, I didn't say anything. I will anything. read it again for you. No, no, I don't want to read it again. Uh, You've read it. So now, so it who's deluding the, them? The Antichrist. The people who are following Antichrist, they refuse to follow Jesus. Okay. Good. So let's say this. Okay. People are following under That's Christ. It. Okay. Who is deluding them? So they will be condemned. No, who is deluding them? With disbelief. I, how many times am I going to ask you? Who is deluding these people? Who does not say that God is a deceiver. Your Quran says I'll ask Allah you, ask is a again. deceiver. Is who, the biggest deceiver. Who is deluding them? Keep lying, bro. Who, who, Keep lying. Who is deluding them? Nobody. No, listen. Answer what it the says, question. I answered it. Who is deluding them? God sends a delusion. God is deluding them. No. God sends them a delusion for the hardness of their heart. So they did not God, want to follow. If God, if God sends, brother, please, if God sends a delusion, who's deluding? God. Which oh, God? Deceiver. Biblical God. God. No, God, God. Right. What is it? Are God, God. Satan. So now we hear. Antichrist. God sends them a delusion. Okay, so what? Go to the word. So that they can believe in what? A lie. He read it out of context. I didn't read it out of context. context. He wants to take it out of context. Keep butchering it. In context. Until he tell can me. get his meaning. Tell me. In context. Keep butchering it. Wait. You still not going to do Slow anything down. Down. except send your soul Slow down. to where it's going. You know where As it's going. As you read the text and context, yes. what does the text now mean in context? I told you. Again. Again. No, I'm not. It's on the tape. Go back and look at the tape. You'll see it. It's yeah. all done. Let me give you another one. Wait there until you get bashed by God. No, and you did not it. it. You were lying. You Already. misquoted the words. Yes, I didn't the call. Bible does not say a I didn't misquote anything. Your I just read it. Answer, Makar, the best. Good. He's the greatest of Makar. Let him not Your teach Makar proper lesson exposed. today. Proper lesson today. Your Makar is exposed. Yep. Proper lesson. Your Makar God is exposed. Wait a second. So now as you realize. Will you call your father a Makar? It doesn't help. Will you call help. your brother a Makar? The whole world, the Quran call, the whole world call will know now when you will that you believe in a book in which God sends a delusion a so that people can believe in false. Is a fraud. God is a fraud in Quran. Hang on, hang Will on. you call your father a Makar? Do you know Arabic language, what makar means? Do you know that I know the meaning of it? It's the same okay. word in my language. What does makar sayyi mean? 
just tell me what I asked you for. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he said to them, to you has been given the secret of the kingdom of God. For those outside, everything is in parables, so that they may indeed see but not perceive, and may indeed hear but not understand, lest they should turn and be forgiven. So who is deceiving here? Bro, we did one. You did you misquote the words. Now you. I, I didn't misquote. I've been I here for it. an hour and a half with you. I quoted okay. it. It's I've not about misquoting it. Time on Look, him. you're not misquoting me. He keeps bringing the same. I just read it. No, you read the misquote it again. Hang read on. the whole chapter. Read the whole Hang context. What then come to me. Firstly, what does the text say here? You read the whole chapter. You then know, we'll talk. Game is up. No, what? That's you it. Cherry pick the words. I not cherry pick. Butchered it. I gave you three. You, examples you, where where your God your deceives God people is a deceiver is a mocker no, Bible allow, does allow one deception. more allow give me one more deceiver. one more one more hang on oh, yes. one more he allows, allows it deception. he allows them one their more. wish hang on one more not making them hang on, hang on. deceiving your generals are today you are a proper yeah you're right Mansoor, one more who was put on the cross hmm? don't be scared in the Bible here no, but who was put on the cross though and the Lord said to him by what means and he said I will go out and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets Who's talking and to he who? said you are to entice him and you shall succeed go out and do so who's who, who's talking to who Nazem who is talking to who? who's talking to who God God to who? God speaking oh, to the prophets he doesn't know he you told you prophet of God God come on God is speaking the story. God is speaking with the story God is speaking let people know what the story is talking yeah. about God is speaking and then say hang on I'm not looking at what? your words right now. Do you know why not? Because you're misquoting it. Shitting in your pants. No, because you keep lying. You one lies and another. Khalas, khalas. Wa akhir dawana an alhamdulillah ya rabbil alamin. Ya Allah is a deceiver. Allah is a deceiver.